Today we're going to be looking at how we measure what makes a healthy ecosystem. You're going to be seeing that there are three things that uh, ecologists use to look at and determine whether or not an or, uh, ecosystem is healthy, thriving, and can going to continue to thrive, or is weakening, falling, and beginning to fail. Let's take a look at it first, what our definition of a healthy ecosystem is. How to measure ecosystem health. What makes a healthy ecosystem? A healthy ecosystem was one that keeps a steady diversity of organisms and cycles through nutrients. Healthy ecosystems allow for a number of different species to be able to coexist and live within an area. Also, the amount of nutrients that cycled through a system allows that some top predators will be able to be sustained. There are three main ways that a health of an ecosystem is measured. How do we measure ecosystem health? The amount of producers. More producers can support more consumers. More producers in an ecosystem mean that more consumers can be sustained and leading to a greater number of consumers. The amount of detritivores. More detritivores means more nutrients can be cycled through to producers. Detritivores will actively break down the nutrients and return them back into the environment. This process is incredibly important as it continues the cycle from nutrients to producers. The amount of biodiversity. Biodiversity is the amount of different species in an area. Areas are classified as more biodiverse if they have a greater number of species. The amount of these species doesn't necessarily matter so much as the differences, the different amount of species is more important. We'll see this in an example next. In ecosystem A, there is one rhino, five ants, and one arrowroot plant. If we look at the number of species in Ecosystem A, we see that there are three. Thus saying, Ecosystem A has a total of three species. In Ecosystem B, we only have the arrow plant and millions of ants. If we compare the two, Ecosystem A has three species, Ecosystem B has two. If we were to measure it, we would say Ecosystem B has two species. Ecosystem A is the more biodiverse because it has more species present than ecosystem B. Your challenge tonight is going to be two questions. One, why might a high amount of diversity indicate a more healthier or stable ecosystem? And the second, why is it really important to have lots of producers in an area for an ecosystem to be healthy and thriving? Have a good evening.